pretty much everything about Drake's personality draws from and is inspired by his fame. And we all know fame is temporary. In 10 years, will Drake be famous? Will people care that he was famous? Overall, I do consider this album to be growth for Drake, though, especially considering that, that I liked this much more than his last album. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this, but what do you think about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Hi, everyone. Overall, gotta say this album a lot less interesting, a lot less entertaining than Take Care. Take Care, even though I didn't love the LP, it left me excited and looking forward to where Drake would go next. And this album has me in the exact opposite realm. It's not an awful album, but it's filled with potholes and just boring moments. I feel like he preoccupies himself way, way, way too much with trying to be something more than that or appeal to rappers or appeal to hip hop heads in a way that is more aggressive so they take him seriously in kind of a masculine light. I'm feeling a light five on this album. I think it is my favorite commercial project that he's dropped so far. If you're looking for some simple, straightforward, low-key, but very catchy pop rap with a lot of confidence and a lot of brags, then I would check this record out. And hopefully he continues to keep it this well organized as we continue on to his next full-length album later this year. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this. No way! Yeah, I know. And it's because it's not really that ambitious of a project. Drake and Future kind of go into each track with almost the same sound and the same aesthetic and the same vibe. Some of the tracks are harder, some of them are a little softer. Drake and Future right now, they're at the top of their games. And I guess what's kind of sad is that the, the potential in them collaborating wasn't really fully explored. We just kind of got some short, enjoyable tracks. I'm feeling a light to decent six on this thing. This album just goes on and on and on and on, and as it continues, it seems to deliver less and less and less. And I'm just not really sure what to say about it other than that. I mean, here's some more struggle bars that uh, I, I might have forgotten to mention. <laughs> I get green like Earth Day. Oh, that was so terrible. It's like Drake really wanted to put together some some cringeworthy lines on this thing, but I'm, I'm gonna stop here or else I'll just go on about this record forever. I'm feeling a decent strong four on this one. You know, I mean, Drake and his team can call this whatever the hell they want, but in my opinion, what this is, is how not to do a B-Sides collection. Overall, I'm pretty indifferent to this thing. And while I do think More Life is a better listening experience than Views, it's only by virtue of it just being less offensive, less crappy, having less terrible moments on it, and more so-so moments on it. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. <sighs> but goddamn, what a slog this album was. I'm, I'm really glad it's over, I'm really glad I'm done with it, but geez. Uh, I just pray for a day where Drake gets back to writing more focused albums. But yeah, those are basically my thoughts on that. I, I like the second disc even less than the first. I would probably give it like a light to decent three. And I would average both of these discs out uh, to pretty much like a light to decent four. Um, and there we go. It is cool to go back and listen to what ideas Drake stuck to and which ones didn't really pan out into anything. Going back to a project like this does feel like you're staring into the petri dish of history and observing the earliest stages of something very significant. I can't really say I get much more out of it than that, though. I'm feeling a decent to strong five on this thing. Yeah, uh, overall, though, care package, more like the I don't really care all that much package. Woo! That was funny. That was very funny. That was very funny. That was a funny joke. That was very funny. I like how funny that was. That was funny. Thank you. Thank you. You you go, boy. I'm feeling a decent two strong three on this one. Tran oh fam, it's a mad thing, isn't it? <sighs>
So, yeah, uh, th th this is pretty hit or miss. Uh, starts relatively decent, but uh, ends up in the trash bin, in my opinion. And uh, along the way, it's it's really a roller coaster ride of, of uh, failures and uh, uh, underwhelming moments and, and so so spots, too. Feeling a strong three on this one. Once again, I'll sum this up by saying this is just a very uninspired record from Drake. Not a whole lot going on here creatively. A few decent tracks here and there, but uh, nothing coming together into a great project here. And, uh, yeah. Feeling a, a light three on this one. Drake, there's, there's really not a whole lot to it. I, I really think this is Drake's lowest point yet in terms of level of effort. He really put almost nothing into this record. It's so one note, badly produced, weakly sung, horrendously underwritten. And yeah, a lot of the shit people have been saying about it online, about just like, you know, being the kind of music that plays over the loudspeaker at H&M, uh, for the most part, that's that's really accurate, yeah. Yeah, this Drake record is, is, not, is not good.